The archer's bow position on the serve is a very popular idea in modern teaching methods, but today I'm going to show you how this pro player position is a consequence of much more important factors that you need for a sound swing. And you're going to learn that the archer's bow idea could actually be counterproductive to improving your own serve. So let's get right into it. The first key to the archer's bow position would be the shoulder tilt. Now the shoulder tilt is actually a natural consequence of the tossing arm motion and the knee bend. But a lot of people aren't taking that into consideration and they'll just go and try and tilt their shoulders and serve. The first problem that occurs is people start bringing the toss way behind their head because what they see is the tossing arm coming way back. Now, what this usually is on the serve is the player letting go of the ball at around shoulder height or maybe a little bit later if they're hitting a second serve and they do want to take it a little bit behind their head. And after the ball leaves their hand, the tossing arm keeps going up so that the ball can stay straight up and down on its path. Some players also just stop the arm like that, but a few of them, they keep it going and then they fall into that, what we would call the archer's bow position, but it's usually a consequence of the tossing arm continuing on its path. People mistake this for an extreme toss behind their head and it makes it a lot harder to move forwards through the serve with the lower body when the ball is going way behind your head and it ultimately results in a weaker serve. To achieve the hip over hip position that people think that they see, players are encouraged to lean into the court and jut their hip forwards. But in reality, this actually doesn't happen in good serving. And this illusion is created by an extreme knee bend and a tilting of the shoulders. You should not be trying to consciously manipulate your hips or your torso to try and create an angle going into the court. It will be a natural consequence of the shoulder tilts, right? The shoulder over shoulder position where the shoulders start here and we have this arm down and relaxed and then they flip along with the hop later on in the swing. And we will actually see that on the knee bend of all the servers in pro tennis, the hips are actually aligned and there is no manipulation in the torso at all. And that's actually gonna throw off your serve completely. Now the torso as a whole is angled backwards, but this is a consequence of a coil with other muscles, specifically a coil with the shoulders, the back, and the knee bend. And the more extreme we take these, the more we're going to see this hip over hip angle, which is really just a result of getting our body to face towards the back fence so that we can uncoil into the shot later. So the more we coil, the more pronounced that this angle is gonna be, but there is no additional leaning back from the torso. The hips and torso drop together as the knees go down in the coiling phase. There is no independent movement from the hips. All we are consciously doing is getting our shoulder over our shoulder and feeling like we get as low as possible with the knee bend. Once you get in the power position, okay, by making a full coil with your body and getting as low as you can with the legs and your shoulder over shoulder, there is no need to artificially increase this position by 
destroying your torso alignment. A lot of people are trying to fix the symptoms and not the system for their shots. If you want an entire teaching system that is devoted to solving the problems that are impeding players' success, check out my online course. You can click the link in my bio for more information.